I am Dr. Vaseem Sajad and today we will learn how we can differentiate between intraaxial and extraaxial brain tumors on radiological imaging modalities. CT scan and MRI brain are the two most important imaging modalities used to image brain tumors. So intraaxial tumors and extraaxial tumors have their own specific appearances on CT brain and MRI brain. Intraaxial tumors are those which originate from the cells of the brain parenchyma. They can be derived from astrocytes like astrocytomas. They can be derived from oligodendrocytes like oligodendrogliomas. They can be derived from ependymal cells and called ependymomas. Similarly, extraaxial tumors are those which are derived from the cells which are outside the brain parenchyma, outside the pile surface of the brain they can be meninges derived from the meninges called meningiomas they can be derived from the uh, blood vessels hemangiomas they can be dermide cysts epidermide cysts or they can be shivanomas shivanomas are derived from the shivan cells so the goal of imaging is how we can differentiate whether the tumor is intraaxial and extraaxial and that's the most important and the first question which we need to answer in our pathway to the diagnosis of tumors whether the tumor is intraaxial and extraaxial so there are few differentiating features which are used to differentiate between intraaxial and extraaxial tumors so the first is gray white matter junction Intraaxial tumors usually destroy the gray white matter junction, while the extraaxial tumors do not destroy the gray white matter junctions, rather, they displace or distort the gray white matter junction. The next important feature is the buckling and displacement of the gray white matter junction. Extraaxial tumors cause buckling and medial displacement of the gray white matter junction while intraaxial tumors do not cause buckling or medial displacement of the gray white matter junction the third most important sign which is used to distinguish between intraaxial and extraaxial tumors is the csf cleft sign csf cleft sign means that csf is present between the mass and the brain parenchyma extraaxial tumors are outside the brain parenchyma so a csf cleft sign is seen in extraaxial tumors because a csf cleft separates the tumor base from the brain parenchyma this csf cleft sign is not seen in intraaxial tumors now the fourth important differential feature between intraaxial and extraaxial tumors is we see the base of the tumor if the broad base of the tumor is towards the brain parenchyma it means that the tumor is originating from the brain parenchyma and the tumor is intraaxial if the base of the tumor is not towards the brain parenchyma rather the narrow part or the narrow margin of the tumor is towards the brain parenchyma it means that the origin of the tumor is not from the brain parenchyma and the tumor is extraaxial now another one of the most important distinct distinguishing feature is the associated changes in the skull bones if there is destruction of the skull bones or bones of the skull base then the tumor is most likely extraaxial because the origin is outside the brain parenchyma and the skull bone is more close to the tumor and first of all affected by the tumor so there are associated changes in the skull bones like there is resorption of the skull base there can be hyperostosis of the calvarium so if bone changes are present the tumor is most likely extraaxial so these are about five important differentiating differential features between intraaxial and extraaxial tumors which help us 
to know whether the tumor is intraaxial or extraaxial